Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is how to make a paper animal walk on its own. This is a great STEM project. What you need for this experiment is scissors, paper, I use cardstock, a ruler, and a pencil. You might want to freeze this pattern. There's five, uh, three five centimeters and then on the sides and then one and a half centimeters um, for each leg and, and neck. And then you cut it out like a rectangle here and then you're going to cut on the dotted lines. These are the little angles I had a half a centimeter. You could freeze it back on uh, the area where the measurements are. And then the dotted lines, these are the legs on the outside, either the neck or the tail on either side of the body. So it's just like that. Now you can add any kind of animal you want. I here made it a cat, or therefore you know that's why I don't have a drawing um, uh, channel. And you put it either on either side, and then you want to make sure it angles a little bit over the the body so you have the center of weight. From there you could take a pencil or a screwdriver and on the tail side, whatever side you pick, um, you just roll it down to give a little bit of effect uh, there and make sure that it comes over the body a little bit and then have your legs having straight down. Now you're going to set up a ramp. It's about four to six centimeters high but you could do as much as you want and from there now your animal you place on the top of the ramp and it's going to self walk its way down. Um, and I'll explain the science behind this. So the science behind this is the paper animal walks by rocking back and forth on its curved feet. As the animal rocks from one foot to the other, gravity pulls the feet down the incline. So when it rocks to the right and the left foot, which is no longer touching the board, moves forward, it rocks to the left and the right foot moves forward, which is pretty cool to watch. So this animal took about 42 seconds to get all the way down to the line of the cutting board right here. I tried the same experiment here with the cat's face, so I got a little bit more weight on the front, and it took about 41 seconds to get all the way down. There was a couple times, if you don't get the head on exactly right, um, it will tilt too far to one side, left or right, and it will fall all the way over to the side. So you really have to have the center of weight um, perfect so when it's going down you can see right there that cat wants to tip over because of the weight of the head where uncompared to the first uh, animal that had no head it just went straight down but once again it took about 42 seconds to get to that line which made me start to think um, if I had longer legs like if I was running a race I should be able to go a lot quicker so here I've got one about three centimeters longer and you can see it takes off pretty quick and I was able to do it in about eight seconds. So you see here with the two combined together, um, I'm about three centimeters, maybe two and a half, three centimeters longer on the legs and then I cut the tail and neck a little bit off so it's not completely full so the center of weight uh, wasn't going to in, uh, inhibit the legs. And then I kind of arced it up a little bit. You got to play around with this a little bit and then put it down and then it just starts to take off and just like an athlete with longer legs um, once you get it right it just wants to take off and those legs move down with the gravity faster and you make it about eight seconds and if you like this experiment remember to please click thumbs up below and click subscribe as i put out a new experiment every week and thanks for watching